expanding the onshore power infrastructure in the port of Hamburg. The overall aim is to improve the air quality in the port of Hamburg in compliance with the Hamburg Clean Air Action Plan. The port of Hamburg has a vital role to play in achieving the aim and a particular responsibility. Cruise ships and container vessels docking at the port continue to emit pollutants into the air. The port's aim is to substantially lower or even eliminate emissions from ships at berth. If vessels rely on onshore power while docked, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, CO2 and particulate matter emissions can be vastly reduced. Plugs in, engines off. By offering this state-of-the-art technology, the port is doing its part to achieve the goals set out in the Hamburg Clean Air Action Plan. A welcome side effect, noise will also be significantly reduced. Here's how it works. While at berth, ships shut off their engines and plug into the public electrical power grid to rely on carbon neutral energy. A converter substation converts the power to the frequency and voltage seagoing ships need. Land-based charging cables connect ships fitted with onboard marine power equipment to charging points on land. The system can be adjusted to suit each ship's specific needs. Hamburg installed onshore electric power infrastructure as early as 2016. The facility at the Altener Cruise Centre is the first one of its kind in Europe. It has been supplying ships with onshore power since 2017. Onshore power connection points for cruise ships will soon be available at the cruise terminal in Hafen City too. The station can serve one large vessel or two smaller ships. A further onshore power facility is being installed at the Steinwerder Cruise Center. It's designed to supply large cruise ships with electricity. The power each of Hamburg's onshore power stations can produce is roughly the equivalent to the energy needs of a small town. In addition, the installation of an onshore power station to supply container ships is underway. It will feature eight connection points at various terminals. The exact location of the charging points will be determined based on the provisions of the Hamburg Clean Air Action Plan, usually where the city benefits most in terms of air quality. To realize the project, large-scale construction work is set to start soon. Among others, three converter substations will be built and six kilometers of power cable laid. Part of the cable that will serve the container terminal at Toller Ort will be routed through a culvert underneath the Elbe River. Hamburg's onshore power stations will significantly contribute to improving the air quality both in the port and in the city. By promoting the technologies of the future through commitment and responsible actions, the Port of Hamburg and its partners, Stromnetz Hamburg and Hamburg Energie, follow the stipulations of the Hamburg Clean Air Action Plan to protect the climate and enhance the air quality in Hamburg.